Did you know that Abigail Cowan was in Stranger Things? Which actors from the Winx saga were friends before they were cast in the show? And are there any romances on set of the new fantasy series? Hi, I'm Janet. Let's find this all out. Abigail Cowan as Bloom The actress who plays the American Fire Fairy is 22 in real life, and she is no stranger to magical boarding schools. Abigail starred in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina as Dorcas. In an interview with MTV News, she explained why she loves such mystical projects. You're allowed to really use your imagination, she said, and that's really fun for me because I definitely have a huge imagination. Cowan can also be spotted in a couple episodes of the second season of Stranger Things. She played one of the girls who we see swooning over Billy when he arrives for his first day at Hawkins High School. Abigail grew up in Florida and studied PR at the local university before moving to LA to pursue a career in acting. Apart from acting, Cowan also models and recently appeared in Glamour UK. Abigail also sings and plays the guitar, but surprisingly, her favorite hobby is running. The actress shared that it helps her relax her mind and keep her physically fit. Running is my escape from reality, she revealed. It is the only time my mind really feels quiet and at ease, especially in such a loud, very stimulating world. Abigail is quite secretive about her love life and has yet to reveal if she is or has been in a relationship. The fans of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina tried to ship her and co-stars Ross Lynch and Gavin Leatherwood, but these rumors quickly died down. However, Cowan might be dating someone who is not a public person. She regularly posts on Instagram, and her followers have spotted a mystery man in several of her photos and videos. Hannah Vanderwest Hewson as Stella She began acting as a child and appeared in the Frankenstein miniseries and several episodes of the British children's show The Fugitives. Hannah then stepped away from the spotlight for a while, and the next time she appeared on the screen was in 2020. Apart from Fate, the Winx Saga, she appeared in an episode of the British series Grantchester, a thriller film The Bay of Silence, and in two other movies, which are now in post-production. Also, two years ago, she appeared on the London stage in a play called An Enemy of the People. The 25-year-old actress prefers to stay low-key, and although she is very active on Instagram, she rarely posts captions that give any details of her life. Born and raised in the UK, Hannah definitely loves traveling and has been to a lot of different places, including France, Italy, Canada, and the Netherlands. Apparently, Hannah is single, but she has a lot of friends. She shares her London flat with her childhood bestie, Flossie Skelton, and seems to be totally satisfied with her life right now. Precious Mustafa as Aisha The tenacious water fairy is portrayed by a 23-year-old British Nigerian actress. Precious began her career on the stage, participating in a Royal Shakespeare Company workshop. She first appeared on TV only two years ago in an episode of the series Endeavor. Eagle-eyed fans might also recognize her from episode one of the Netflix series The Stranger. And this year, she is to appear in a recurring role in the British detective comedy Code 404. Precious feels at ease every time she gets in front of the camera, and it shows. Although we don't know anything about this young actress's love life, one thing is for sure, she has a great relationship with her co-stars, especially with Hannah van der Westhuysen. Last August, she posted several pictures from their travels with the caption, Happy birthday to one of the most radiant beings I am lucky to know, Elliot Salt as Tara. Surprisingly, Tara is actually the eldest of the fairies. Actress who portrays her is 27 years old, and she is one of the most experienced on the set of Fate. Elliot has appeared in a number of British and Irish TV shows. In 2019, Salt picked up a recurring role in the British series Game Face, and the next year, she popped up alongside David Schwimmer in the comedy Intelligence. But her most prominent role before The Winx Saga was in the smash hit Normal People, where she played Marianne's college friend, Joanna. Elliot Salt was born in Manchester, but lives in London with her girlfriend, whose name she prefers not to disclose. Alicia Applebaum as Musa Fate marks Alicia's biggest role to date. As before this show, she had only several small gigs. Like many of her co-stars, Applebaum is British. The 25-year-old Alicia is not only an actress, she is also a poet, and you can find one of her poems on her Instagram account. There are also pictures of her travels and enjoying time with her friends on there. By the way, in a recent interview, Alicia revealed that she and Danny Griffin actually met before being cast for the show because they have mutual friends. She also shared that all of the actors bonded a lot during filming. We all had each other to lean on throughout the process, and filming was like a big hug for all of us. But Alicia especially praised Abigail Cowan, who already knew what it was like to work with Netflix, so she helped her fellow fairies a lot. 
The actress doesn't comment on her personal life, so we might assume that she is totally focused on her career at the moment. Jacob Dudman as Sam, Tara's brother, and Musa strike up a romance over the course of the series. In real life, Alicia Applebaum has nothing but kind words for the actor. Jacob is an easy and great person with whom to work, she shared, so it made all of those scenes so much more comfortable and easy to do. Dudman is 23 years old, and to date, he has 13 acting credits to his name. Netflix viewers will recognize him as Thomas Price from the series The Stranger. Jacob's other TV credits include the series Medici and The A-List, and he's also appeared in a number of short films. Moreover, he has a number of credits as a writer and director of short videos and documentaries. As to his relationship status, Jacob seems to be single at the moment. But according to a Jacob Dudman fan account on Twitter, he used to date a beautiful girl with gorgeous curly hair. Freddie Thorpe as Riven This Brit is now 26, and before the Winx saga, he appeared in a number of projects, including the action thriller Overdrive with Scott Eastwood and Anna de Armas, and in the Netflix series Safe. He also did quite a bit of theater work before his TV debut. Freddie is a great fan of sports, and it shows a lot in the roles he chooses. Most recently, he starred in a movie, Summit Fever, where he played an obsessive climber. Thorpe dated British actress Sophie Robertson for over two years. According to his Instagram account, they started dating around 2014. They seemed to have had an amazing relationship, but by the start of 2016, Sophie was nowhere to be seen on Freddie's social media. Sadie Silverall as Beatrix The actress who plays the fairy troublemaker is the youngest of the cast. She is only 19 years old, and Beatrix is her second role. Previously, she played Eva in the 2019 drama film Rose Plays Julie. Sadie revealed that working with the Winx cast was incredibly lovely. Unlike her character, Silverall got on really well with the other girls. We were all staying together in the same apartment block, she recalled, and when I wasn't at school or filming, we would hang out or go for brunch somewhere in Dublin. To get into character, Sadie created a playlist that helped her get into the world of Beatrix before filming began for each scene. Silverall is a fun-loving and outgoing personality and likes hanging out with her friends. But so far, it looks like she is not dating anyone. Theo Graham as Dane Like the majority of his castmates, Theo is a UK native. He has appeared in a dozen different films and series, but he is mostly known for his roles on the long-running show Doctors and Hollyoaks. For the latter, Theo even got a British Soap Award nomination for Best Actor. Graham is now 23, and it turns out he is used to playing characters who are younger than he is in real life. In an interview two years ago, he revealed that even though he was 21, he looked so young that he couldn't go to a club without his ID. He also shared that he was called Small Fry at school on account of being short. However, when he started boxing and became fast at punching, he got called Spark Plug. As of now, he doesn't have a nickname. I grew at college. I'm 5 feet 8 inches, which is a decent height. I'm happy with that, says Theo. Two years ago, the actor broke up with his girlfriend, and since that time, he has been keeping his love life under wraps. Danny Griffin as Sky. Before the Winx saga, Griffin's most recognizable role is likely that of Aslan in Guy Ritchie's movie The Gentleman. He also recently appeared in several episodes of the British teen thriller series Get Even as Shane. Amazingly, Danny's role in the Netflix show aligns with his long-standing appreciation for the fantasy genre. The actor revealed that from a young age, he was very bored with the world we live in and liked to escape to somewhere far more interesting. He is an Avatar obsessive and loves those types of stories because they can be a great way to live in someone else's shoes. At 23 years old, Griffin says he felt an immediate connection to Sky. For him, Sky is a little bit like an iceberg. He seems normal on top, but underneath, there is so much going on. Normally, you get a script and it takes a while to understand the character. With Sky, it came a little bit easier for me than others. I really enjoyed that. However, he finds it hard to get used to the label of heartthrob, which kind of came with the role. Danny humbly says that it's purely incidental. He is also a professional model, and Danny claims there is no big difference between acting and modeling, as the thing is to get into somebody else's character. Griffin is quite athletic. As a kid, he enjoyed horseback riding, surfing, and sailing, but now he's more into swimming, hockey, and rock climbing. And as of his personal life? Incredibly, Danny appears to be single. So who is your favorite on Fate, the Winx Saga? Let us know in the comments and watch our other videos about your favorite Netflix series. And thanks for staying super awesome.